Hello and welcome to this video demonstration of setting up Rider under Ubuntu Linux. Start by searching for it. We're going to hit the downloads. It detects the operating system. Now, there are several ways that we can do this. We can download it directly. We can get the Toolbox app to download Rider and its future updates. Or we can use Snap. Personally, I don't like the Snap version. It doesn't get updated as frequently as this. This is a manual install. It's not complicated. It's just a case of extracting it and then directly running it from the command line and creating your install, your shortcuts, etc. But the easiest way is to use the Toolbox app. I agree to that. We are going to download it. Give it just a moment. Okay, so now it's downloaded. We can choose what we want to do. We want to open it with an archive manager. We could also use the terminal, of course. I'm going to extract. Extract it into our downloads. Extraction successful. So we go into our downloads. We might just be able to run that there. No. Okay, so open terminal. LS up forward slash get brains box. App images require fuse to run. You might So it comes as an app image. It told us that it needed Fuse to run. I'm installing Fuse just using apt at the command shell. So when it said I needed Fuse, I just did sudo apt install Fuse. I'm scrolling back. I will now run this again. And it should now set up and indeed it has okay there we go continue choose your preferences i like dark and now we've got the option now to install all of the different JetBrains products. One thing to note, when you use this method, it installs them on a per user basis. If you want to do a global install, you'll have to download manually, put them in place and do that. But if that's the configuration you want, I'm assuming that you know how to do that. So from here, I can just click install. It starts downloading. I'm going to pause the video while it finishes downloading. OK, so it's finished installing. I'm going to now run Rider. So I could launch it from here. But also, if I come on here and I type in RID, it's there. Now, I do want to point out, Rider is not free. It has an education license for students, but it is not a free product. However, it works in Linux, it works in Mac, it works in Windows, 
and it's exactly the same experience across all three platforms. You can match Visual Studio or if you're used to other Rider products, we can match this. I usually use the Visual Studio key map just because it keeps things very similar. Now I haven't installed .NET on this yet because it's in the virtual machine we're demonstrating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click back to key maps and I'm going to actually install .NET on this machine. So SDK Ubuntu. I think it is just a case of running an apt install. We'll find out in a moment. Yeah, it is perfect. Don't think it'll let me do dotnet seven this way. I think it'll have to be dotnet six, but we'll find out. Oh no, it's doing .NET 7. It's going to pause it while it completes. Okay, I am also I'm going to install this 6 as well since 6 is the long term release, long term support release. Okay, so we now have the .NET SDK version 6 and 7 installed. If I come back to Rider, click Next for the environment. We can see that we have that one. We'll click next to features plugins we haven't got mono but again i could install mono so but let's do that sudo install mono i'm going to pause it again because that will take a little while okay so now that's installed We'll go back to key maps, follow it to the environment, and we can see that oh, it's actually saying not installed. So what I might just do is close it, exit that, relaunch rider, but they are now installed. So exactly the same process. It's not complaining because nothing's installed this time. It's detected the .NET SDK and it's detected Mono. Mono is just an open source implementation of the older .NET framework. We can now start using Rider. Give it a moment to finish loading. In the meantime, I'll finish close up. Right, I'm going to pause while I log into my account. I can't activate the free trial because my email address is already registered with a paid account. Okay, so having activated my account, I can continue. Remember, there is a, an education license for students. It is free, but there is no community version, I'm afraid solution I've got console application or the .NET framework which uses mono so I'm going to do this one I'm going to go to create using version 7 of the .NET SDK
hold it there for a second. Okay, so that's all ready to start coding. I can run it. This is just the basic Hello World program. The start point for most coding tutorials. It's built and it's done. You can add another line of code. Console that. Make it almost identical but not quite. Well, run it again just so we can see the difference. There we go. 